Okay, so we're here at PRG with Matt Smith, MK Smith, and your new game, Attack of the Petsy Robots. Oh my God, quite an undertaking. Yes, it was. Uh, and a very different development scheme for Attack of the Petsy Robots because it's a new game, but you're doing a port of it. So, what? How did that? How did that start? Did you see the game and go, "That I could put that on the 7800"? Well, I bought I bought the game on the the pet version, the 64 version, big 20 version. And I thought, "Oh, this is all right." I played it a little bit, and, um, but then David Murray said, "Oh, if anyone wants to support the game to a 6502, yeah, you know, let me know. I'll give you the source code." And I thought about it for a few weeks and then I contacted Mike Sana and yeah. said oh Mike what do you would you be interested in maybe doing this together and he goes yeah okay so he got the source code and yeah. off we went so and how much adaption did you have to how much changes was there a 6502 source code already yeah yeah and so how much change how many changes did you have to make because it looked it looks quite different from the version I played on the show yes. to now yeah. and there's some funky stuff going on in the cartridge as well isn't there yeah so the the original source codes for the pets the Commodore pet so it's the most basic pared down version you could get so um, so what that allowed us to do is when I did that um, initial version it was like black well, let's, and white version yeah, yeah. so it's because it's all Petsky yeah. it was all the characters we got the character set in and then we started bringing the, the code over got the title screen working got the end screen working then we started getting the game working yeah um, so the code's actually quite well structured from the point of view that you know the game code will be separate from a lot of the graphic stuff so okay so yeah. it's like modulized almost yeah. yeah yeah so i just set up a ram memory for the display and so that all started working but then when mike comes along and does his magic and yeah. you look at what he actually did there um you know getting it all 160b getting the the commodore 128 graphics set yeah which you know it just looks to be honest it looks amazing what he did he's added all these oh, little yeah. animations looks um, really good yeah so so you know we we basically started with the 7800 basic and i set it up you know all in assembly but we yeah. you can do it that way um and then you know once we had it running mike went in and you know added yeah. all he added the graphics he added the sound engine this rmt which yeah. is an older version but uh, when noel the the composer needed something to use that was sort of the thing available so mike i'll well, put that in yeah yeah. Uh, yeah so so that that the rmt player is is kind of an advancement and and will help other developers and that's the great thing about the community yeah is that somebody develops something and it can be used for other people as well yeah well it takes um i'm not sure what track it, it takes you but you can convert your tracker into this format and then yeah. play it so you know there's a lot there's a lot of artists out there who've created all that different type of music which is very different to pokey you know it sounds right. a lot more modern or a bit more <laughs> dancey or whatever it might be yeah um so yeah i think it's going to open it up you know obviously uh synth popper loser's got his yeah. you know his stuff that he does which is fantastic and yeah. we you know we all have got, all had him helping us with the with these things so yeah. and maybe if if bobby's not available then you know maybe we can find another track to use through this process so yeah now uh there's a lot of versions of this game being made mm. was there any like back and forth collaboration with other of the developers in terms of like graphics or sound that you exchange back and forth or somebody saw your version and they're like oh that's an improvement on mine and i can borrow those graphics well what we what we got from david was um you know when we worked out we could use you know some of the more colorful graphics so david gave us the 128 character um right. tile set so you know this was a character set we might turn it into a tile set graphics right. yeah. but the maps all still work you know really well yeah. well done there um but we did add like when we started adding there's a map screen there so we added it i think we added the time and we added some uh mike added some you know some of the uh you got things that are left um enemies that you got to kill you know things to find there's a counter there so yeah. some of that ended up in in uh, some of the other versions okay yeah, yeah. so um along 
I think there's one or two others. I just can't remember of the moment. There's a lot. Yeah. yeah. But, yeah, so we didn't... We went back and forth with David a little bit yeah. um, about different things, about formats and graphics and those sort of things, but we didn't really work with any of the other... Um, the other people so um, and then when we got to the music um, Al sort of stepped in and you know we got Noel signed up and she produced that music and then we you know we put that in so yeah oh, that's great yeah um, and I know you've, you've uh, released some video of the 7800 version how's the reaction been to that and it's people from that are not a part of the 7800 community seen the video and went, oh, wow, that looks really good. Yeah. And they're comparing it to the other versions. Yeah, well, I started putting up some posts in uh, in David's Petsky uh, Facebook page and, you know, we're putting the version together and, um, you know, here's some more pictures and this sort of stuff. So, yeah, the feedback's been really good. A lot of people saying, oh, I can't wait to buy that or try that. So, yeah, yeah so looking, we're looking forward to seeing, you know, the feedback because... You know, you, you want to get that from from people, don't you? So right. And, and working with David and Murray, like he he made the original game on on his platforms that he wanted it on. Do you have direct feedback from him? Is it like, did he just release it to the world, or is there a, some sort of talking back and forth? Well, it just for us, just specifically with our version, and probably the hardest thing for David was the fact that we had to use a seventy eight hundred emulator to actually give him that and then we're trying and because of the control system has all those buttons trying to actually say well look we're going to do a couple of different ways that you can use one controller with two buttons you can have two controllers that you can do the the movement and the firing and then we we looked at the the SNES controller so Mike organized uh, with another person that you know they developed the adapter um, yeah. So, you know, I still haven't played it with the adapter yet or oh on, the, on a real machine. So. I find that so funny. I've heard that from other developers. Oh, I haven't seen this in my game or I haven't played this part of my game yeah. because it's such a collaborative effort and a lot of working parts. Yeah, so yeah, so Dave was a little bit unsure. Oh, I'm not sure this really works. And <laughs> oh, look, we'll, we'll, sort, we'll get there and sort it out eventually. And so Mike's played it on, on a machine now on, a, yep. on real hardware and he's uh, said it was fantastic to play with. So. Oh, that's great. Yeah, so looking forward to uh, seeing that. But it's for me, it's a long way to send a cartridge to Australia yes. when we're still developing it. So um, yeah, and, and, and the uh, SNES controlling controller and the adapter is very exciting for the platform. Yes, as well because it's going to open up a lot of different to a lot of different games that just couldn't be made. Yeah. with just the limited two buttons yes. on the controller. So that I find really exciting and. Just in the homebrew development in general, where somebody does just one thing in their game that pushes the genre forward. Yeah. So. Well, the fact Mike adds these things to 7800 Basic. That too. You know, that opens it up to everybody, and he put that directly into, you know, into that for us, uh, for the game. Yeah. Um, and now it's available. So I've actually put the SNES controller into Millie and Molly. Well, so right. whilst we're waiting for that to come out, so I thought we, I can see how it works. So I think you know I'm, I, I know these guys will probably actually start looking at adding that in, and you know we've got the, oh, yeah. the new music engine and a few other things that Mike's added, which you know for us, us non semi hundred knowing people like Mike's yeah. amazing what he knows and understands, and the fact that he can add these things in for us, like yeah. you know it's incredible. So. Talk a little bit about the cartridge itself. It it doesn't it, it needs some special equipment inside of it. It's not a standard cartridge. Yeah, so Mike and Fred developed a new cart format. So there's like two halves. There's a 20, 128K on each side. One's okay. predominantly for running the system and the saw and the code. And then the other side, I think, is predominantly for the graphics. So there's actually a 48K graphics bank okay. in in this this one side. So, you know, we're all looking forward to <laughs> that being uh, added in, in uh, finalised in 7800 Basic so that we can start using that for games because you do have right. that limitation of sort of 8K maximum in a bank and then you've got the shared bank. So things can get very tight. 
Yeah. Um, and eventually, you know, we'll have access to that. So, so a um, lot of innovations happening oh, with this game. A lot of uh, boundary pushing. Yes. And it's yeah. a very exciting time in the realm of 7800 with all these astounding games being made. So yeah. uh, it's it's great that you're a part of it and pushing those boundaries for the rest of the developers to to use in their future games. Yeah. Oh, look, it's exciting time to be around the forum. Like, you know, as you know, our 7800 forum is such a friendly forum. Yes. Everyone will help with Great whether community. it's graphics or music or testing. Yeah. So, like, you know, Steve Ramirez over there, the, the god of... Master of gaming. He is. Yeah. And he will, you know, he'll do all sorts of testing <laughs> and give you all sorts of Trying feedback. Trying to break your game. Yeah. yeah. And he's so good at it. There's, I think <laughs> there's certain people in the world who are very good at doing that stuff, and he yes. is one of them. So. Yeah, I see his name in the thanks of so yeah. many games. Yeah, yeah. yeah so, I'll have to no. talk to him about about that one of these days. Mm. Oh, definitely. I think he'd be that, a really interesting interview. So. It would be. Yeah, he's on the other side of things. Yes. He's like the ultimate play tester. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, it's been great talking with you, and you came a long way to be at PRGE. Yeah. How have you enjoyed it? Oh, it's fantastic. First trip to America, and oh, um, wow, that's amazing. You know, a little yeah. bit scary initially, thinking the long and the long. Well, it was only about 21 hours to get here and only, yeah, only. No problem. so that was all right i won't i don't think i'll ever do that again oh boy except for the trip home yeah but yeah. um no look it's been great i never thought i'd actually get here but i thought you know um thought we'll have a go and yeah. come over and you know to see all the people meet probably meeting everyone in person has yeah. been for the first the thing time i've actually really enjoyed more than more than anything so yeah that's what i really love about prg it's a it's a central place everybody can meet you can see all yeah. these faces to the people you've seen in chat or you know online mm. in video or something but in person it's very different yeah definitely and, and it's great to to meet you in person mm. finally and yeah. uh yeah thank Me you too. so much thank you james